guess we'll have to mess with that later. You are... You think I'm saying I'm Live here? to YouTube. Almost live to Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Seconds. Hello, YouTube. Please hold, bear with us while we get Facebook online. Facebook's waiting. Okay, there we go. Facebook. Hey. Do you need me to send you the notes? Welcome back, Living on a Dime. Thank you. Do I send you the uh, I, I usually put them on the show notes page, but I oh, forgot. Oh, wow. Well, Kathy! Hello, Kathy! Let's see who's on Facebook. It's uh, the Mills Show! Yep, it's the men show today. <laughs> so, the boys asked for their favorite while mom is gone. So, we're going to make that today. Whoops. Hello, Jack. We've already got like 5,000 comments on Good evening! 5,000 comments? Yep. All right. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're going to, oh, hey, J uh, Dave. If you could just uh, paste this in every now and then and then the recipe right here, that'd be awesome. And Nanzon, yay, hello. Okay, so, oops. Here, Jack, you can stand over here on the side. So, as you guys who were here Monday probably would know, Tara and Ellie are out of, <laughs> Tara and Ellie are out of town uh from now until the weekend so it's just us guys hanging out here together <laughs> and uh i was thinking about i was thinking should we cook something today or should we just have a talking show and tara thought it should just be a talking show but uh asked the boys what do you want to cook and they said cheeseburger rolls with that kind of enthusiasm <laughs> so so immediately i was thinking okay i guess we'll go ahead and do the cheeseburger rolls although they're often um I'm, I'm just kind of stalling a little while I'm talking just to give a few people a chance to get on because it's really fast what we're going to be doing. Uh, the first part is really fast. So um, normally, so these are in our Dining on a Dime cookbook and they're on the new, the 20th anniversary edition, they're on page 237. I don't have a classic edition with me. Uh, so actually, uh, so you can look in the index in the back end, it'll tell you where, and Dave is also sharing the recipe on there. We usually make this recipe, the first thing says one batch of 90 minute roll dough. And there's a reference to a page number where we have that. And that recipe is also on our website at livingonadime.com. Uh, but today we decided to do an experiment to see if we could make it quicker. Because <laughs> the last time we did this, uh, it, the dough has to rise a lot. And it ended up being the, like an hour and a half show <laughs> before we could show you anything. So Tara said, that you can easily buy, well, let's see, where do we have the bag for that? You can easily buy the pre-made dough at the store that's frozen. And even though it's not as cheap, here, Jack, that orange bag over there, bring it here. Even though it's not as cheap as making that dough yourself, it's still cheaper than eating out. So if you, like even for fast food, we went and bought this one right here, and it came with three, three loaves of dough already made and they were like $1.50 each. So that's not too much if it's semi-convenient, which is kind of what we're doing today. So uh, the other thing is that this recipe calls for uh, a pound of ground hamburger and it gives instructions for cooking it right now. But as a lot of you know, and some of you may not, Tara will cook a whole bunch of hamburger at once and then she'll freeze it in little baggies like this. Uh, oops, I was defrosting it. So uh, she'll freeze it in little baggies. So this is water. <laughs> uh, she'll freeze it in little baggies like this and then we can just pull out the amount we need and defrost it uh, when we're gonna use it. So that's what we're gonna do with that. So that should make it quicker. Right, Jack? Yeah. Why right. is Jack on the show? I'm just curious. Why is Jack on the show? Yeah. Um, Cause he's handsome and sweet. Um. Okay, so I forgot where the roller, I forgot to get the roller. So just one moment. Oh, Jack, yes, thank you. So, um, either one is fine. I'll use the top one because That would be fine. So, excuse me, sit forward here. So I put the dough in the oven and I had it on a low setting because it wasn't quite thawed yet. And also I wanted it to be able to rise a little. So, wow, that's beautiful. You're gonna each want one of these? Yes. That'll be a lot. You have to have some bubble and squeak for tomorrow. 
<laughs> Just kidding. Wow, so, can Jack? <laughs> oh, yes. Hold on, let me get the camera and I'll turn it down so they can see what you're doing. So, this dough, if we make it from scratch, which we often do, like I said, from the 90 minute roll recipe, um, we would do that ahead of this. But since we have the pre done dough, we just had to defrost it and let it rise a little. So Jack is gonna go ahead and roll it. This way back and forth. Oh, yep. no. Except you have to manhandle it, like push it. Like, oh, here, wait, let's put this thingy under here. Thank you. We got the same idea. I'm like, if you're uh, it's set, moving. cutting board slides around, this will stop it from doing that. Does it work when water's on it? Kind it's of. still doing it a little. Oh, okay. What helped? Chris so we're gonna, so again, this wait, recipe, what? Is that a, is in our Dining on Dime cookbook in the 20th anniversary edition on page 237. There's a hair in there. I'm assuming it was probably Damn yours, it. Joshua. Nah, okay. that's fine. And let me look in the classic edition while Jack is rolling that out. Should I do it this way too? Sure. Do it in all directions. Cheese Flatten it out rolls. like squares. Okay, back to yeah. my reading. In the handy oh, dandy no. index. Except the recipe indexes at the end. Okay. Is, it, is, is your um, thing actually put in alphabetical order? Like, are the recipes in alphabetical order? Al so it's in page 182 in the classic edition. Uh, are they in alphabetical order? Yeah, no. like A is in the front of the book, Z is in the back. No, but in the chapters, so the chapters are like oh, breads right, and meats chapters. and stuff. Okay. But in those chapters, they used to be in alphabetical order, but we sort of changed it a little. Why? Because sometimes a recipe makes more sense next to another recipe instead of an alphabetical. All right, you want me to do a little more? Eh. It needs to be a little flatter. Eh. Okay then, I'll do that. Eh. And probably go yes. this way with it. Um, eh. Mom is on a road trip for anyone who oh, yes. is wanting to know. For She's <laughs> gone, she just vanished. Yeah, we didn't actually say. So Tara and Ellie uh, already had this plan before we planned our, is my head cut off? Yeah. Tara and Ellie already had this planned before we planned the Europe trip. Uh, but they were taking a week to just go away and be quiet and be away from everything. And for the first time, for those of you who've been around a long time, you know that she's occasionally said, I'm just overwhelmed, I have to take a break. But she never gets herself away from the business. This time know. we confiscated the computer. She, <laughs> she, yeah, so we told her you can't take the computer with you. <laughs> no business. Sorry, Jack, I was just going to finish rolling that a little flatter. Um, we told her you can't take the computer with you because we're going to be doing no, you're going to be doing no business while you're on your break. Because when we, when we go to uh, England and Ireland and Scotland and Norway, we are going to do a little bit of video and uploading and maybe some live shows now, uh, so that we can keep in touch with all of you and bring you with us, which is going to be awesome. Okay. Amy wants to know what page is the dough on? So, oh, yes. Um, would you look real quick? It's, oh, actually it says on the recipe. Um, it's on page 113 in the 20th anniversary edition and page 75 in the classic. I forgot how flat we roll this. Um, I think we'll go with that. Okay, so Jack. You want yes. to prep this one? Wow, this is actually a lot. Yes. This will be I was jacked. thinking you'd each have one, but that's going to be... You're going to have a lot nah, of leftovers. That's fine. We can... Okay. Oh, yeah. oh I so, closed it. My, ba my bad. Yeah. In the recipe, it's all right. I'll use the classic one I have here. So, according to the recipe, we should uh, brown the ground beef in a saucepan, but Tara has already done that, and that's why I said we defrosted that one. It's great to have these kind of single-serving things, and... Uh, you don't have to use, we probably won't use all this hamburger for these. Well, then again, we might because <laughs> it's us guys and nobody's here to tell us not to. <laughs> but you can use a lot less or a little bit more uh, as you desire. So even though it says a quarter pound, it'd probably lean towards less than more if you're trying to save. So anyway, uh, you know it says add onion, salt, Garlic, uh, garlic, salt, salt, and pepper, but we don't yeah. have the salts. We have the powders, so. Are we putting the garlic into the... <gasps> garlic! Into the bread? Garlic! Uh, well, we're going to put it in the meat, but we can put some on the bread, too. Um, oh, wait, this is onion. You Jack, don't want to get that. How much does it say on that? Well, uh, the half, half teaspoon. Since you're here, no. I might have you do it, and you probably want to measure it, don't you? Measure? Yes! Actually... I must measure! I'm thinking that... 
we're going to put a little more than it says in the instructions. Do we have any more classics? Okay. Uh, we are out of classics, unfortunately. We've had a lot of people ask since then. Um, but we actually were going to save some for... Just go ahead and scoop it in there. Yeah. Mm. We were going to save... You can okay. scoop it. Yeah. Oh, no. Not perfect. <laughs> it must be perfect. Oh, okay. and then put it in the meat. Just kind of sprinkle it over mm -hmm. the, all the meat. You guys probably don't want a lot of garlic on your meat, do you? I like garlic. But probably not as much as Dad, based oh. on your quesadilla the other day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here, put a teaspoon of this in there. One so we're putting a whole teaspoon instead of a half, because this is a little bit more meat than the recipe calls for. And it's not likely we'll use all the meat, but we'll see. Uh, we're probably using a larger bit of dough. In here? <laughs> no, put it in the meat also. Oh. And it says onion salt, garlic salt, and salt and pepper. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we go. We put onion powder and garlic powder instead, so we're just going to add some salt. And I would sprinkle this, but since it's Jack, you're going to want to measure it, aren't you? Yep. Oh no. So Jack... No! Uh, just stick it straight in. There we go. So how are you... Are you fond of... Just kind of winging it like mom, or no. very, what do you like? Perfectionism. <laughs> Jack is very precise, and he does not like to be guessing or <laughs> winging it. The truth is, on this recipe, you really can. The bread recipe, uh, I think you should follow it pretty closely. But on the this part, okay. So now we want to stir it all up. But uh, in the Jack and world, you, do you guys... never will. Want any pepper in there? Like just regular table pepper? It's in the recipe if we want it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't care. Hey, it might is this the seasoned salt? But actually, we could have used Tara's homemade seasoned salt. Uh, there's something else in the season. Oh no, I think it is the seasoned salt. I think that's salt. all of the seasoned salt. I pretty sure. I like to do the powders and then the salt separately, so it's it? easier to control. I liked a lot of garlic, but I don't like a lot of as much salt, uh, yeah, that's it. so I will like add a lot more garlic in the same amount of salt. Okay, that's plenty, Jack. Okay, so, um, wow. All right, so let's take some of this, Jack, and at this point, uh, we will add the beef mixture and the cheese, and that's pretty much all we're gonna add. Sorry, this one piece was having. So take the spoon and sprinkle some yeah. along the edge here. It wasn't cut up enough. Actually, I think you can <laughs> sprinkle it all the way across, but... Or here, just, just drop it on there so you don't fling it. Yeah. Can you see that all right, Dave? Should we zoom in on it? Now, how much do you meat do you want in there? Here. Mm, maybe... Let's one... zoom in I want a lot of meat in there. Exactly one and a half more Are we meats. in the right spot with this? I can... Yeah, I zoomed in. So, Jack... Went in, just so it doesn't fling, you can use your hand and spread it out like this because we're going to wash our hands anyway. And this is cooked meat, so Good. it's not the same. So is that enough meat? Mm -hmm. One more. Depends on how much is going to be. Just gonna... kidding, no. And you can have it more meaty if you <laughs> no, want. Okay, I don't want any so more. now we'll put the cheese on. Chez. How much more chez? Chez. As much as you want. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't like, like it very cheesy, do you? Not very cheesy, but I, I I'm not like... super into cheese either, actually. So if you were, if your budget is really tight, you would definitely want to follow the recipe more particularly, um, or you could use less than the recipe. But, but yeah. some people will just drench it with. That's all the cheese you want. That's okay. There. Okay, so now we're gonna roll it. Roll it. Yep. Here, you want to roll it? Small it. So you just kind of roll it like that into a log like that. I like logs. Oh no! It's not perfect. Uh, oh no, daddy. it's not perfect. It's, 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 it's rolling. It's not rolling. So one thing I didn't <laughs> do that I should have done is probably put a little bit of flour on the board. I'm going to turn this board around so I can roll it this way. Uh, because it's a little bit sticky. Oh, I can see the stick. If it's on the homemade dough, I just do that. Uh, but because we bought this dough already... Very thick stick. Because we bought the convenience dough this time. Yeah. All right, so we're going to... We were in a crunch, so we had to get the convenience dough. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm going to pinch this off so that nothing of it leaks out. And Jack, you can pinch off the end. Maybe kind of just... There you go. Perfect. 
And usually when Tara does this, she makes one batch of 90 minute roll dough and makes it into a horseshoe shape. Daddy, you messed up my, my egg cheeseburger roll. Oh, well here, you tweak it, Mr. Perfection. Um, yeah, so the reason why we bought the convenience dough today is with Tara out of town, we have to pick up Jack about 45 minutes before the show from school. And school's about 15 minutes away from home, so it doesn't give us much time. There, so we usually, if we need ingredients we don't already have made, uh, we will stop at the store and grab it on the way. So Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. Here, let's do, let's put a little flour. Oh! Hey, someone by the name Tara of Tara Kellum, Kellum is giving us kisses and giving hearts. Us kisses oh, over hello, Tara Kellum, of one of show. our favorite viewers. <laughs> one of our top fans. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little flour just to kind of make it not so sticky. Lively. Jack, so then we'll just lift it up and stick it oh. over here, right? I thought you were putting it on more flour. It's not perfect. Do you want to do yours or do you want me to do yours? I don't care. I'll put on the meat and stuff. That okay. Do I need to show the camera down there? Uh, sure. Okay. So I'm going to roll this out fairly quickly. We need to kind of get this in to because it has to rise after we put it in for, I think Jill said about 15, she said 15 minutes, but it doesn't say that on the recipe. Oh, that's because the, I see. That's because usually that roll is about five times. Because we usually use the dough that we made. Yeah, yeah, we use that's the why. actual dough. Okay, so this is going to need to rise a little bit, so we're, I'm trying to kind of move this along now. Mom's so it's... giving kisses to each of us. Hello, my lovely bride. <laughs> so she must be watching on the phone because we didn't let her take her computer with her. Because <laughs> we didn't want her to see any comments or have any temptation to do anything that makes her think about working. Okay, Dave? Huh? Here, I probably should have rolled it this way a little more. Oh, that side isn't square enough with this. All right, Jack. Oh my, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, what? Do what? Wait, you what? said you wanted to put your stuff in there. Oh, oh, yeah. Here. Oh, here, I didn't put the flour on there again. Here, lift this up just a little. Put the flour underneath. Oh, there was some. Oh, was but... there? There. Okay. Now it'll be less likely to stick. Are you going to roll it out more? Yeah, sure. Do it! It's not rolled out enough. So... Yeah. This is one of our family's favorite recipes. Um, it's a day. So Jill favorite. says about 15 to 20 minutes until double after we put Here. the stuff in it. Can I pull this a so, little bit? It's not quite. It wasn't quite rolling out. That's weird. Uh oh. So I'm warming up the oven to a low temperature so that we can. What? If you warm it up to a low temperature and then usually turn it off, the very lowest temperature, and then turn it off with the dough in there, it will make it rise a little bit faster. So that's what we're doing. I'm using a lot of meat. And a little secret is because we were rushing when we got here, I kind of did that a little bit before the show. <laughs> I ran in the house, stuck it in the oven on the low temperature, and then turned it off and let it kind of rise while we were sitting up. Got to get all that good meat. Actually, Jesse did say, why don't we take it off the cutting board and do it on the counter? We Yeah, we probably should. Oh, I dropped it. Probably at this point, do you think it's worth it since we're already... I don't care, I can lift it. That's fine. Here, I'll move the cutting board. Oh, wait, it's kind of yeah. saggy. Here, you have to... <laughs> I'll just... Oh. I was just going to pull it. All right. This looks like Let's a try French bread this. pizza now. There we go. Jesse... I have to say, we'll give you a practical uh, award there. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, now it's not stretched. You can still roll it. More Mistakes if you were want. made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. So, can men cook? We're going to find out. Wait. How are we going to press this one? You can, you can still use the roller if you want. We're going to wash it anyway. And it's cooked, so. Yes. We're really glad that Tara and Ellie went to take a break. Um, cause Tara has really needed it. Okay. I think that might be enough. Judging by the number of animated heart emojis and things I've gotten since she's been gone, I'm thinking that it must be doing her some good <laughs> and I'm thankful. <laughs> so, 
So this isn't going to roll so well because it, when we yeah, pick it up. Yeah, but I yeah. think I might have a plan. Okay. What if we just... Is that all the cheese you want? Yeah, what if we just roll... Here, can I get it? I was going to say, what if we just roll one side, but it's kind of thin. <laughs> did, this one didn't quite go so well. What I'd probably do is flatten it out like this. Can men cook? And then roll it from there. Do you want to try And that? if you're a person who doesn't like to use your hands to cook, you should you should do that because it's much easier and you can wash your hands. And Mom would say, this is, get it together, people. This is cooked meat anyway, so it's <laughs> not going to kill anybody. Okay, so then I would just roll it up like that. Yeah. It was... So this one, um, because we moved it, <laughs> it's a lot thinner around than usual. So let's roll it this way and pinch it off. But... Um, and then you want to do the ends since it's yours. So nah, we ended up with a lot of cheese it. that we prepped and a lot yeah. of a lot of the meat left over. So we will use that yep. probably for tacos tomorrow or something like that. All right, let me know when you're ready. Uh, here, let me get a thick. Okay, Jack. Oh man, huh? dude, this one's so much harder because it's so thin. Do I you know how to zoom good. out the camera? Yep. Why don't you zoom it out? Back. And you will tilt it up so that. <laughs> Well, we still want to see what Dave's doing, but we want to carefully don't want to make everybody have a motion sickness. There we go. <laughs> okay, except we don't want his head to be cut off. So how about like uh, that? dude, it's not sticking. Well, here right. you try this. So I'm gonna pinch this a little bit. I'll moderate while you. And I'm not being gentle with it. I'm pinching it pretty hard so that it stays together. And this is uh, not quite as pristine as Tara's. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the horseshoe shape and stick it on here like Jack's. I'm wow. not sure men can cook. Yours is a lot thinner than... than yeah, that. I know. That's what I was saying. You're all the two things. And now I'm going to stick it in here so that we can get it to rise before we bake it. Oh, except... Wow, that's a lot of... Um, Nan said about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to go with 15 because we don't want the show to run all day. <laughs> all right. I've set the timer. So now we need to let this rise. Uh, oh, you can't see it. The prep time was 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have prepped it faster, but we were trying to explain a little bit as we went. So we've got about 15 minutes now to let it rise. And we turned the oven on low, which is the 170. And then you can uh, answer questions. And oh. once I'm thinking it's at that temperature for sure, I'll probably turn it off and let it rise that way. Uh, and then when it's all done, when it looks like it's doubled in size, then we will turn it on 350 and bake for 10 to 15 more minutes. So this is probably one of, this is one of our family's top 10 recipes for sure. Top five maybe? For me it's number one, but. It's uh, Dave's most favorite recipe and pretty much Dave and Jack love it about the same. I'm trying Jack, to think. it's number two. It's num what's your number one recipe, Jack? My number one? Yes. It's the chicken pot pie. The chicken pot pie? I was going to say, we, I don't remember ever making that one. Oh, well, I'm sure we have. That's the, uh, exactly. Dave, come on over here, boy. So I'm doing my push-ups. I'm doing my Tommy stuff. <laughs> Tommy Alderman stuff. Please pause while Dave goes and does push-ups in the living room. <laughs> All right, let's what? see what we, while we're waiting for that. I did not make one for me, Heather. Um, I may eat some of a little bit of theirs, but I'm trying to stay away from, uh, well, I don't know if it would have milk in it. No. I think the dough has milk in it. You are not I'm eating trying it. to stay away from the milk. Um, I tried kind of stopping on that and it really helped. La Diana, Ellie needed orders to lose, hide or lose her phone. She actually accidentally broke it. <laughs> Although not Wait, Tara's phone. Ellie broke it? Ellie broke her own phone. What? Yeah. Oh, to hide or lose Tara's phone, yeah. She'll watch the show, but there's she can't do any... She can't really monitor, check. What she'll do at home when she's not working is she'll get a little bit bored and she'll pull out the computer and she'll see comments of things and... And she'll get super... And she'll start thinking about work things and that just takes her off the track. So like, we're helping her have boundaries. <laughs> so... Uh, Julie, so what we're making is our uh, homemade cheeseburger rolls, and it's, it's from our Dining on a Dime cookbook here. I actually had the page number. Oh, sorry, I closed it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm going to take a look real quick because I know people are going to want to know the page number. 
uh, one page 237 in our 20th anniversary edition. It's 182 in the classic. And page 182 in our classic edition, Dining on a Nine. Um, probably don't need it out anymore. Okay. I'll go for it. This is one of our family's most favorite recipes. The kids just love it and they Day always have. One. Nobody in our family has ever not liked this. Tara and I tend to eat it less than we used to just because she has some restrictions that the doctors have been trying uh, to help with her chronic fatigue syndrome. For me, I, I stopped milk just to test it. And so I probably will eat a little bit of it, but I'm mostly staying away from milk. Chunk. Uh, but you can milk. make this with, I, I think you could make, if you made the dough yourself, I shouldn't say this without asking Jill first, but I think you can use, Joe, would it be true that you could probably use one of the alternative milks like soy or almond milk if you weren't doing milk? I think you could. Although you couldn't do the cheese, so. Looks dry. It's not dry. It uh, was pretty dry. <laughs> what was dry? My burger. Oh, if they're talking about my cheeseburger roll. Mine had too much flour on it, so it wouldn't press together, right? Oh, is that what you mean? Oh, okay. But I'm not sure if that's what you yeah. So, <laughs> Heather, I'm not dry. really sure why Dave didn't put more cheese on it, because I thought you liked cheese a lot. Yeah. He I, used to eat more It depends, of it. really. I love cheese a lot, but at the moment I'm in a today limited a, dairy mode, so... Today I don't feel like eating a ton of junk food, and I consider cheese a junk food, so... <laughs> Bigger rolling pin. Yes, Maggie, we used to have a giant one, and I loved it, but I think Tara likes the small one because she feels like she can handle it better. But I like the... Did, oh, there's all the smileys with the heart eyes. Thank you, my love. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like the big one because it just, it has a lot more leverage. So, but I don't know that we still have it anymore. Uh, they're all doing more than most guys in my world. <laughs> Thank you. Does the meat taste any different cooking it and then freezing it? No, it doesn't. The one thing is if you freeze it, uh, the more airtight the container is, the longer it'll last frozen. So if you put it uh, in a, if you put it in a, Tara will put them in full top baggies and then in a giant Ziploc baggie, and that's pretty good. If if there's a way for air to get into it in the freezer, then it won't last that long and it'll taste freezer burned if you leave it too long. So basically, if, if we will put it in a little bag, she puts them in the full top baggie separately and then in the giant freezer bag so that we can just pull out the one that we need and leave the rest sealed in there. So, and it'll last a long time, I think. That's true. I don't know how many months that ago oh. that Tara made this Thank hamburger, this. but we keep it long enough that she can always get hamburger for, I want to say $2 a pound. Um, I hope that I'm saying that right. <laughs> and uh, I thought she bought it when it was cheap and then she bulk stocked in the little baggies and froze it. Yeah, when it's like $2 a pound, she'll buy a whole bunch of it and then she'll cook it all up and put it in the separate little baggies. And for, freeze them. And freeze them. And for then months. <laughs> it, so one might be a size for the cheeseburger rolls or for tacos for the whole family, something like that. You use multiple for different purposes if you have a bigger meat. Yeah. Meat. And we don't. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was looking to see what that comment was. We don't ever pay the full price for hamburger. So Tara will pay for this price. Uh, when she sees it on a really good deal, she'll buy a whole bunch of it and she'll prep it and pre-freeze it. And some of it, she might not prep if she wants to do something, she thinks she wants to do something else entirely with it. But uh, then we freeze it and it usually lasts until the next sale. But if for some reason we run out before the next sale, then we only eat chicken and pork and other stuff until then. So. We don't eat a lot of pork, mostly because I'm not that fond of it. I love her pork roasts, but pork chops, I don't like the chewy bits that are in it. Dude, it's hot. So, all Ooh. right, let's see. Hi, David, you do a great job, Turid is saying. Yay. And we're going to see Turid here pretty soon. Because uh, we have our, for those of you who don't know, we're going, we paid off our house. And so as a celebration of that and the Tara and I's 25th anniversary this year, we're going to go on a trip to England, Ireland, Scotland, and Norway. And it was just England, Scotland, and Ireland. And then Turid said, hey, Norway's only two hours away. <laughs> and we've always said, Turid was one of our first viewers ever on the show. And um, 
we've always said we'd love to come visit you in Norway and we thought well we're gonna be pretty close and it would be interesting to see Norway so we thought yeah let's go Jesse says love the apron like yes I love this one too it's amazing it's really nice I um so <laughs> did uh, let's see what goes best with it so normally what we will do if the whole family is here is we'll take something like this and then have a side that's we, usually we do something like the broccoli, right? Or I thought carrots, we did peaches. Maybe carrots, peaches. Um, Any fruits or vegetables. Some kind of a fruit or vegetable usually. Since it's just the boys and me, go get that uh, mixed fruit thing. We'll probably make... The boys love those canned... I, I, want, I always call it fruit salad, but they call it something else. Fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail. So we'll probably just make that since it's, it's just us. It's called extra cherry fruit mix. Just... You know, to be clear, it's called an um, extra cherry fruit mix. So, it's oh yes. Stuff. So we just do something easy, and um, when Tara's here, we might make we like to make broccoli with just about everything. But a lot of times she'll just uh, she'll give everybody a handful of baby carrots, or she'll cut up some cucumbers and some peppers, or she might have a little bit of fruit that she serves with it, um, like. Re she, if you haven't seen, you can go back on the channel later and look, but Tara got a huge number of strawberries at a really cheap price last week. I, I want to say like, was it uh, like 20 or 30 pounds of them, I think. And she prepped all those. She sliced them up and put them in the freezer. So we might pull out some of those and put them in our little dessert bowls. And if they sit there for, you know, 20 minutes while we're making dinner, then those would be ready. But Again, since it's us boys and they love this, I thought we'll just pop this can open and each one can have half. So how much did the dough cost, Kathy? Good question. So the dough uh, was a dollar fifty per uh, per loaf. So so for the two that we made, it would be three dollars for the dough. It would be a lot cheaper if we made it ourselves with the 90 minute roll dough recipe, which is uh, there's a page reference to it in the uh, in both versions of the book. But also, if you don't have the book, uh, why don't you? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, here's Dining on a Dime. This is our cookbook. If you don't have it, uh, th these two recipes are on the website. So you can... Uh, cheeseburger Rolls right now is on the top of our front page. But in our search bar, you can search Cheeseburger Rolls. And there's a link to the 90-minute roll dough. If you're going to make that yourself, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Um, but if you want, if you want our Dining on a Dime cookbook, you can go to the store there and uh, on our page. And most people save more than the cost of it in the first shopping trip because most people spend a lot more than they think on groceries. So anyway, uh, let me see what else we have here. Gotcha. Good job. You guys need to cook more. Any veggies? Well, for today, we'll probably do the fruit, Jackie. Um, but generally, yes. And I probably won't eat very much for dinner myself, so I might, I'll probably eat a little piece of theirs. Um, oh, and you can add things to it. I, thank you, Jill. She says the recipe doesn't call for, ve this is my uh, mama Jill, Tara's mom. This recipe doesn't call for veggies, but you could add some. Yeah, so you can modify this. I almost forgot to mention. We never usually do because it's mostly for the boys. Uh, well, and our other kids, but they're not home right now. Uh, but if it were me making it for myself, I would probably put chunky pieces of onions and bell peppers and maybe some black olives and put all that together. And I might even do something like uh, put in sausage or something a little spicier just because I love the spicy stuff. So it's pretty versatile. I'd say anything... I would say almost anything you put in a taco, you could do. I wouldn't obviously put lettuce in there because that would be nasty. But uh, actually, that would be cool to make. Oh, we didn't put extra garlic on the dough. Uh, they were wanting a little extra garlic on the dough. You want to try sprinkling it on top? Nah. Okay. It's fine. Um, I, I'll forgive you. <laughs> thank you. Being that I love a lot of Mexican <laughs> food, I if it were me, I might Puts garlic on everything. Make it a little more of that flavor. You'll take like an entire garlic clove and just smash it up and put <sighs> the entire thing inside of. Help is watering now. I love the fresh garlic cloves. Smash them up and 
<laughs> Something will say put a clove of garlic in, and I'll put like four cloves of garlic. If it's for me. If it's for the kids. Definitely not a vampire. Wait. Yeah. That, yeah, vampires and garlic, yeah. <laughs> If uh, typically, like if we make taco meat for the kids, we, we'll mostly use salt and pepper and maybe a tiny amount of taco seasoning. Uh, but if it's for, if I make it and it's not for them, I'll put a lot more garlic and um, cayenne pepper and stuff like that in it. So uh, let's see. Looking looking through the questions, how about a salad? That would be awesome. I don't think we have the salad stuff right now, and since we're batching it. <laughs> um, that would be something that's pretty typical of what Tara might prepare for us, though. It was a salad. Or as opposed to whole salads, a lot of times she does, um, like I said, she'll cut up cucumbers and have some baby carrots and some slices of bell pepper because it's a little easier, but it's still salad-like. Ooh, Lori says, tried this recipe with pepperoni and sharp cheddar. So good. Yay. Tracy, good job, you guys. Great to see you again, Tracy. I haven't noticed you there for a little while, so um, maybe you could wrap in lettuce instead of dough. Well, actually, I might do something with the... I might make myself a, some tacos with this meat because I like to use corn tortillas and make tacos, and I can do it without cheese and just put some... like I love pico de gallo, but I don't have any at the moment, so I might just put some regular salsa and some lettuce in that. That would be really good. Uh, do you eat it with a sauce? Generally not. What we will do when actually, usually when we take it out of the oven, we will put some butter on it and kind of move it around like a pat of butter so that the whole thing gets kind of glazed a little bit with that butter. And that's mostly the way they eat it. Am I right? Yeah. Or something else. Okay. Uh, do you have YouTube on here? Yes, Kathy. Pre-cooking the meat and freezing it helps a lot. It really shortcuts the recipes. And if you're just joining us, we're making the cheeseburger rolls out of our Dining on a Dime cookbook. If you have the 20th anniversary edition, it's page 237. And it's 182 in the classic edition. And if you don't have the book, let me share the recipe in the comments. But I will encourage you to get the book. <laughs> then you'll have it all ready there. Okay, so I'm sharing the recipe again. And I'm going to share the link for our cookbook. Living on a Dime is live on my phone. And so what's been happening is we're making the cheeseburger rolls. Uh, uh, are you pulling them but out? We had to let them rise a little bit. So now I'm going to pull them out and see how they're doing on the rise. And hopefully they will have risen. Oh, yes. So... Man, it smells so good. <laughs> so, they've risen to about double. Here, let me grab this. Um, before I show you, I'm going to turn the temperature up. So, we're supposed to cook these at 350. So, we're supposed to cook them at 350. So, I'm turning up the oven while I show you, but uh, I don't know how closely you saw this before. Come on, Buster. Holy, um, mine's tiny. But they have his. doubled from where they were. Jax's Dave's was really skinny to begin with, so. Oh, it's not, yeah. So now I'm gonna, I turn the oven up to 350. It's not that small They'll probably rise a little bit more before the oven gets up to 350, and then, um, oops. And then we will bake them for about, I think, 10 to 15 minutes. I have to look at the recipe real quick here. All right. So the recipe says 10 to 15 minutes until golden brown. I'm going to set it for 15 so I don't forget it, but we will probably check it sooner since the boys aren't that crazy about the super golden brown anyway. So, Bonnie, love your cookbook I got recently. Seemed it was the only cookbook for real women. Love that it has more than one recipe for various dishes. Thank you. We're, we're really happy. One thing, uh, if you, whether you have it or not, actually, I was going to say if you don't have it, but now that I think about it, uh, one thing about the cookbook is the recipes are adjustable. So if you're gluten-free, you can, um, if you use gluten-free ingredients, then the recipes will be gluten-free. Um, I mean, obviously some things you can't have cheese soup. Well, no, cheese soup you can have gluten-free. That would be dairy-free. Um, there's some things you can't, like some breads, I don't know. There are some things that don't work as well with the gluten-free stuff, but... And anyway, you can adapt these 
to your taste, but also if you have some special uh, requirement. And that's one thing that's really great. Could you make it a pizza roll? Uh, you can make this a pizza roll. Could you slap some... What's it called? Tomato sauce. Could you slap some tomato sauce and pepperonis and cheese and more pepperonis? Yes. And roll it up. Yeah, so Dave is just being creative here, saying, how can I adapt this recipe? And you can do that with most of these recipes can be pretty easily adapted. I think like um, almost all of them. Yeah, so if, if he wanted to make, he was talking about making this pizza rolls, and you could put pizza sauce on there, and you said cheese and pepperoni and stuff? Pizza and pepperoni and then cheese, and then another layer of pepperoni on top of the pepperoni and cheese. Brilliant. And then... And if you need the sauce, we have uh, pe uh, spaghetti sauce and pizza sauce in here, so it's easy to make your own if you need to improvise. Actually, one thing that's cool about this is if uh, we have a lot of missionaries like to buy the book because... If there are, a lot of the countries where they are, you can't get ingredients and a lot of other things, but there, we have a substitutions list, explains kind of how you can improvise and, and it has a lot of basic recipes. So I'm so hungry. Yes, Angela. Actually, I'm smelling it and it sounds awesome. Oh, I can't smell it. Allergies. <laughs> so, Man. yeah, if you have the classic edition, it's... Uh, Oh, it's ooh, uh, it's good. the same book, just this is a newer, the 20th anniversary is newer, but the 20th anniversary has 28 new recipes and 100 new pages, and this is all we're selling now. Uh, but if you have the classic, you're, you still have almost everything that's in here in terms of recipes, so uh, I wouldn't feel like you're missing out. Um, but the 20th also has, like, it has pictures and recipe cards from T Tara's grandmothers and aunts and stuff like that. It has pictures of our... Is that pistachio soup Pictures of... I, uh, I didn't see that. It also has pictures where we have stories like, here's where we're shipping books at home <laughs> when the kids were littler. And we have pictures of things like the house where we lived <gasps> in Idaho when Tara got the inspiration to when start writing this done? book. Oh, that's me shipping so books. So what does the timer say? Uh, 11.30 seconds. So it shouldn't be any longer than that, Jack, but it might be soon. It's going to be done at 11.30? Oh, my. Oh, we've got a so, whole seven hours, six hours. For everyone who's no. asking, uh, Tara and Jill, or Tara and Jill, Tara and Ellie uh, went up to the mountains to get away from all the chaos and have some quiet time and sit in the hot springs. <laughs> so I, I think uh, they seem to be having a really good time and... We didn't let Tara take her computer, so there's not any chance of really uh, particularly thinking about work. And so it should be hopefully a nice relaxing experience. These are really old photos. Yes. Oh, hey, Denise says, yes, they are really old photos. Denise says the dough is so versatile. One thing about that, if- you Probably use it for anything. If you make, for so most the recipe calls for one batch of 90 minute roll dough. And depending on which edition of the book you have, um, it has a page reference. But that 90-minute roll dough you can use for virtually anything, like dinner rolls. Um, I don't know if we use that for the pizza crust, but you probably could. Uh, we use it for these uh, uh, cheeseburger rolls and all sorts of things. Sorry. This looks way better than the salad I ate. I had yeah. to do five push-ups. I like salad, but I found that sometimes... If I'm eating something small, um, if I'm eating something small that it doesn't have any salad or vegetable or fruit, sometimes if I add the salad that I'm not really hungry for mm. it, I realize it's <laughs> it's just adding more. There are it's not a lot of food. calories, but there are some calories. So I've gotten to where I don't worry so much. It adds up. And it didn't occur to me until Jill and Tara were talking about this, but when you're figuring your servings of vegetables and fruits and uh, protein and things, there people don't consider how much is in like spaghetti sauce <laughs> or um, uh, milk for protein, things like that. Yeah. And so I don't worry too much. I do try to eat salad and fruits and vegetables, but I think oh, I get more than I realize. So let me look over here. I've kind of missed the YouTube side a little bit. 
are the classics they found still available. We actually sold all the classics that were left. Um, we had a few damaged ones that um, we're trying to find out from the printer if they will reimburse us for. But that's, unfortunately, we don't have any more of the regular classics. I looked to make sure because I didn't want to steer everybody wrong again. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Pipla, yes, it's the 90 minute roll dough if you're going to make it yourself. And Dave, oh, I did that, didn't I? Oops. Um, if you look in the index, you can look for 90 minute roll dough or just cheeseburger rolls. And the cheeseburger roll recipe has a, a reference. So it's page 113 in the 20th anniversary and page 75 in the classic. But the indexes are pretty helpful and we were very particular about trying to get it all in there right. Oh, if you missed it, Unicorn Queen and Jacqueline, uh, afterwards you can go back and watch it. I think even on YouTube you can go back and watch it even while we're still live. So, Dave? Yeah. Oops, I didn't see who said it. Uh, Jenna is asking, do you like Dr. Pepper? So it depends. I mean, I got this shirt for free because Uncle Dave bought something from Dr. Pepper. Okay. Val, I was so. trying to figure out how to say your name because it was all together in a way that I almost misinterpreted it. But Val, is that a full batch of 90 minute dough or is it the divided batch? So today we actually bought dough that was made and frozen. Yeah, but what we, we were in a crunch. <laughs> the amount we used is probably equivalent to a little bit more than a full batch of 90 minute roll dough um, because usually usually what we end up with for this recipe is not quite as big as what we have in terms of volume so the, the reason why we so we didn't we normally do the 90 minute roll dough every time we do this recipe but it requires a little bit of advanced planning because part of the here where's the recipe for 90 minute roll dough page 113 um, I'm gonna stick this in here's a bookmark. The 90 minute roll dough, you have to prep it and then you have to let it rise, I think, I think maybe twice. And one time we waited for to do it on the show and it ended up that we couldn't get done cooking it because of all the rising. So, uh, yeah, you have to let it rise 15 minutes and divide it and then do 15 minutes again. Yes, but it was a good opportunity to show that you can improvise if you need to. Um, like I said, we went and bought the frozen dough at, at our Kroger store, King Supers here, and it was $1.50 for each of the two loaves. And we probably made 50% more than we usually make. So, uh, what, the hamburger? Yeah, just uh, let's wait till after the show though, because we're not that far from the end. Um, Yes, so we made the frozen dough. We got the frozen dough, which is still much, much cheaper than going out and getting burgers or something like that. Uh, but it doesn't take nearly as long. Tara also said that we could use biscuit dough if we wanted, although I think the biscuit dough would give it a different consistency. So uh, it'd probably be a little more flaky and not, not quite as sticky. So it might not hold together quite as well. But it would be awesomely delicious, especially something like our garlic cheese biscuits. Oh, yum, that would be awesome. Um, I make similar to this with pizza sauce. Yes, Amanda, you can. That would be great. Um, actually, what the reason why Splurgeon bought the dough is because Dave and I were thinking, how are we going to do this? We're not at home. We have to pick up Jack from school. And then the show is on in 45 minutes after that, but it takes us 20 minutes to get We home. couldn't have made the dough beforehand because if we did, we would have wasted like half the day's worth of work. Like <laughs> yeah. actual you know, doing stuff. <laughs> yes. People are careful, Jack. Perfectionism turns to OCD when you get older. Ask me how I know. <laughs> He's laughing. Well, we kind of, we're, we, we reign in the perfectionism some because I used to be a lot more perfectionist and realized uh, perfectionism, sometimes good enough is good enough. <laughs> but I would drive myself crazy I... for being perfection. I, I sometimes just say good enough is good enough. <laughs> yes, good enough is good sometimes. enough. Sometimes. Sometimes. It depends. It depends, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm trying to think of a situation where if your life is in danger, good enough might not be good enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, yes. So Bandana Grandma is mentioning this. This recipe in the book calls for three-inch dough rounds filled with one tablespoon of ground beef and the cheese. Um, but we have another recipe that is also on our website for cheeseburger roll-ups. And Tara prefers to make them this way because they're a little bit easier than making the individual ones. So that's why we did it this way. Uh, but if you make it exactly as the recipe says, instead of making the big pieces, you would be making these little um, kind of half moon, like pita, not, not what am I trying to say, like uh, pocket sandwiches. So like hot pockets. Oh. Well, no, kind of more the, the moon-shaped ones is what, what would that make be? easily. It would be a croissant hot pocket. Oh. Croissant pocket. No, they're like croissant those. croissant has layers. Never mind. My bad. But those are great mm. if you have a lot of kids and each person wants a different one and you don't want people to fight over how much they get. <laughs> I... But Tara likes to make them the way, well, I'll show you again if you didn't see earlier, but she likes to make them kind of rolled like that, more like a jelly roll. Uh, because it's just a little bit easier and she doesn't, with her chronic fatigue syndrome, she doesn't have to work as hard to make it happen. Um, Amanda says this is really good with ham and cheese too. I didn't think about that. Well, now that I think about it, you could probably put anything that you might find in a hot pocket in there. Well, you could put really anything, anything in it. Can well, you? you wouldn't want to put lettuce in it. Or well, <laughs> something I like mean, that. you could though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you could. Janet says, Jack is so cute. Yeah, Margaret, Tara is pretty much resting. She was checked in a little while on her phone. Oh, probably oh. just <laughs> because she's wanting to give us moral support. <laughs> but uh, I think she... Uh, <laughs> I think she... Sorry, I, I was laughing at being in Grandma's comment. I think she didn't have enough internet to keep watching, so... <laughs> And then grandma says, kissing Tara, keep it family friendly. I have a wrench and I know how to use it because she's a moderator. So because <laughs> Tara was throwing kisses at us a lot. Uh, yes, oh. Amanda. Look, Jack, Tara and Mike do have beautiful kids. Yes. Uh, and Tammy, another binder for your cookbook? Is it? Oh, because the binding just wore out. Because um, I, I don't know a way to rebind them once they're uh it's funny because we're coming the next time we print we're gonna we're talking to the uh printer about changing the binding a little bit but it'll still be a, a lay flat spiral so that'll be good uh katie just ordered your cookbook today excited to get it and try a lot of your recipes and read your tips we're working on paying our mortgage off and sure this will help us yes that's awesome i'm really glad that i'm really glad you're paying off your mortgage we <gasps> just paid ours off 45 seconds. You want to peek or you'll probably be all right. We don't have to peek. Not if you peek, you let the heat out. Oh my goodness. Do they look done? Continue. They've grown about three times greater than they were. Yay. So um, that's a good thing, I think. That's awesome. I should have put more cheese in and more hamburger in. <laughs> well, you could have. Just kidding. Um, yes, so we just paid off our mortgage and we're really excited about it. It's finally starting to sink in. And that's partly why we're going on our summer vacation, which will be our first, well, we've only had maybe one or two sort of small scale vacations in our lives up to now. So this will be a pretty big deal. And Whoa. Tara and I will have been married 25 years this year. We sure we don't Do they look like they're done enough? Whoa. Oh my goodness. They've grown about oh, they're boiling at the bottom. Four Whoa. times there. Jesus, maybe we size. should have put more meat and cheese on these. That's what I was saying. Dude, I didn't. Well, you were saying it just now, but it was already cooked, so we couldn't undo it. I didn't think the Kroger Holy store. Holy smokes, Dr. Jones. I think that's the Kroger dough. That's a lot. So do I don't you, think our dough normally Do you want to try to explodes? eat it like this, or do you want me to put it in a little longer? I'm waiting for it to cool. They're not very brown on top. That's the only reason I was asking. I'd be down to wait a little bit longer. I think I that one's mine. Down you wait want... a little bit longer. <laughs> Look at these guys. So the pre-made dough that we got. They're thick. <laughs> I think we could have used one of these no, and it would have been the same as a batch of our 90 minute roll dough. 
So yeah, yeah. that was. Um... So you want? Oh, they merged. We, I can cut yours open and see, Jack, if it's. It might need to go a little longer. Mine's the it's one so, that's oh, much man. fatter. Since it's so fat, we might want to. Yours is a stubbier, fatter one. Mine's a longer, skinnier Let's take one. a quick look and make sure that it's actually cooked in the middle. Oh my goodness, oh, dude. Oh, wow. That is some thick dough. I can tell you that. Okay. That is. Me. Oh, there it is. So thick. Oh my goodness. Um, It's a little bit gummy still. Do you want to let it go a little longer? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah sure. Probably. Okay. Let's let it go for another five minutes, ten minutes? <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, they've inflated by like, I mean, they've risen about yeah. five times their original size. The hot pad had a spontaneous failure there. So, we put it in a little longer because it's not, since they puffed up so much, it's, it's probably okay to eat, but it's not, it's a little doughy in the middle still. Although Dave's isn't doughy in the middle, but he just wanted it to be, you wanted it to be longer? Yeah, I wanted it to be uh, darker. He wants it to be more brown on the outside. More brown. So, oops, wait, there were... Because browner means crisper, usually. What are you looking for, Jack? Um, all right, let's see what, let's look at the end here. So, uh, uh, Tara's going to make you guys cook more often. I don't know. I, th I told her I would, but she doesn't seem to want to. Um... How much does the pita bread cost to make? I do not know, uh, Life of a Wife. I should have asked, well, t since Tara's not here, she's the one that would know. Jill, if you can weigh in on me on that and tell me, I think it's really cheap, actually, as I look at the ingredients. I can't imagine it'd be more than a dollar for that recipe. But, Jill, if I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah, Jenna, uh, sorry, I did cut it open to see if the middle was done enough. But we will probably let it go a little longer and then cut it open when it's more done. So, uh, do we have a PDF for the book? We have a PDF for the Dining on a Dime cookbook. Uh, yes. Uh, basically, just you would choose the ebook version. And if you have any trouble with it, let us know. But it's usually if you buy it, everything works. Unless your spam filter is set really high and blocks our thing, you'll get a download link right away and be able to download it and you'll be good to go so let's see this this is hilarious actually i was a little surprised of how much it rose because i think each of those loaves was probably the amount of the, 90 minute roll dough we usually use for all of it um yeah the um all the dough was about an inch thick so yeah yeah maybe two inches Oh, that's interesting. Um, I forgot who it was that asked about the binding, but Nancy said if you you could take it to Office Depot and they can, she says, trim the old binding off and rebind it. I did not know that. Because um, normally they last a long time, but we've had some people that just use them so much that the binding started to struggle. Uh, oh, One Powerful Force says a local library. How does the pita bread on page... Oh, oh, sorry, we already answered that one. Um, do you have a jelly roll recipe? I don't know. I should take a look here and see. <gasps> you don't know your own cookbook? Tara is... She knows more about what's in the book. Well, I mean, I know a lot of it, but I don't know the things I don't make very often. Um, I don't think we have a jelly roll recipe in the book. Um, you could go to our website, livingonadime.com. Let me see if we have one there. I think it would be pretty easy to make with this dough, with a 90 minute roll dough, but I'm not totally sure. Um, yeah, I don't see one. What is a jelly roll? We talk about making things jelly roll style. So jelly roll is like when you take that, a dough like that. Well, and then do you slap dough. jelly on it and roll it up? Yeah, usually you put a whole lot of jam, so jam if you're not in the United roll, States. Um, but with jelly. Yeah, you, you put a jam or jelly in there, and maybe a lot, gotcha. if you really like it. And then you roll it up. I think you can put some other stuff in there, too, like, um, oh, like, uh, some kind of, I was thinking of a creamy stuff, uh, like, what am I thinking of? Cream cheese. I don't know. Uh, that would probably be good in there. Uh, let's see. 
Fruit turnovers. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes, Amy says, it's good to have shortcut options sometimes, even if it's 100% the same. It's better than expensive other options. And that's true. So Tara and Jill are always talking about, here's the cheapest way to make it. Um, but Tara, they do sometimes share this too, but in case you haven't heard it, you can improvise. You can make the homemade recipe with mostly homemade stuff. But like with us, the, um, the pre-made dough made it so that uh, we could still have it done in time while the show is still on. Um. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking through comments real quick here. We're gonna pull that out again in just a minute. Yeah, it looks pretty much done. Is it looking done? Close okay. to done. I'll take it out in just a second. Um, I'll get to the yeah, we probably should have rolled. Well, we rolled them fairly thin, but I think what happened is because we were rushing to get back here, um, we maybe didn't let it rise <laughs> quite enough beforehand, and it it rose a whole lot. Yeah, Nan said it needs to bake longer. It should be done by now, hopefully. Um, yes. Oh, Terry. Um, well, we I think we call them pasties, but I think over in Wales they call them pa pasties. <laughs> but pasties? they're meat. They're kind of a uh, oh, they're really yummy. What are pasties? Kind of half moon shaped pastry. Uh, with inside of it, it's usually all different kinds of things. So they they might be. Uh, like kind of stew, like potatoes and beef and vegetables and uh, sauce that's like stew. Oh, Ellie had Ellie and I had something like that in uh, Ireland. And we actually have a recipe for them in here, but there are all different kinds of flavors. Um, there are all different kinds of flavors of them you can make. Let me go ahead and see, since we're getting close to the end of the show, if these look enough. Dave, you don't mind if I cut yours open, do you? I will be offended when I ask, right. but I there's only one good, good answer. I don't care. <laughs> I think those look good. All right, so there's I'm gonna... cheese dripping out of Dave's. <gasps> what? My cheese has escaped. All right. Yes, so some of your I'm cheese has cut this escaped. Open. In the form. Whoa. So this dough is slightly softer than our 90-minute roll dough. Well, no, it's about the same. And it's Ooh. very thick with two teeth. Thick. Yeah, so, Thick. whoa, as it's Thick. hot. So I cut it open. It doesn't really show very well, uh, but as you cut it, there's different amounts of meat and cheese in it. Dave oh. and Jack didn't put that much cheese on this time. That one's got a thin layer of bread on the bottom. Yeah. we When Tara makes it, usually there's the meat is a little bit more in the bread because I think she rolls out the bread a little more. She's better at doing it. She has a little more experience at it, so she rolls the bread a little bit thinner, and then that makes the meat. And she also puts a lot more cheese in. I mean, she doesn't put a huge amount of cheese, but the boys were really sparing on the cheese today for some reason. Oh, I so, just don't eat tons of cheese. Do you want to take a bite and see if you like it, Dave? I'll take I, a bite of the I, one you already can cut. Can I do some of mine? Yes. Um, you already cut mine, didn't you? Oh. Do you want? Do you want the outer piece? Okay. I don't care. Can I have a piece? Whatever. Yes, Jack. Hold on just a second. Okay. Here. Oh. Oh, oh no, mine fell apart. <laughs> Here. They fell apart. You might need a napkin or something. It's hot. Yeah, I got it. Oh man, that's delicious. I just got a little taste off my finger. Okay. okay. Jack, Jack let's try take it. a look at yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paper plate. Paper plate. Or, or not. Wow. So, Jack, I think you really overdid it on the thickness of your bread. Oh, no. Whoa. Well, this is... That, is... Okay, I'm going to have to sneak a little piece That tastes so good. So Dad, Jack, no milk. Oh, I, I didn't put the butter on top. He's so, not supposed to do milk. Normally, we do... Mm. We do usually get uh, butter, and we'll put a pad of it in a couple places and kind of smoosh mm -hmm. it around so that it glazes the top. But at the moment... They don't seem to be too concerned about that. I'm going to take a little. Mm. No milk. Mm. Oh, mmm. Mm. This tastes this really good. That is really good. good. Oh, man. This tastes I know why really you, love these. you guys love these so much. This is something that nobody in our family has not liked. Like, almost everything, somebody's not that fond of it, but these, everyone loves them. And if BJ and Ellie were here, they would. We'd probably have, well, 
Actually, it would eat this too. I was gonna say we'd probably have to make extra, but we don't. This is gonna be gone in two minutes. We don't need to. Man, <laughs> these are really good. And Nan says, you guys done good. Yes. <laughs> Does need quite a bit of cheese and meat to be rolled more, Jill says. Yeah, when Tara and I were making it, when the kids were really little and they didn't uh, say they didn't want as much cheese, we would put quite a bit more cheese and maybe a little bit more meat. So like right here, you can see there's just a little bit in the bread. Uh, it's sticking. But it's still really delicious, just like this. And I think we put a little bit, we actually put a little bit more of the garlic and the onion than the recipe called for, which is probably a good thing because with the extra bread, um, Mine was sticking to the pan because the cheese came out. <laughs> well, see. this one got flattened. <laughs> yes. Because. All right. Like a Philly cheesesteak. Oh, that would be delish this way. Oh, man. You're making me hungry. Err. Jack, what is your mom cook that is your favorite? Oh. That's hard to decide. Mmm. <laughs> Well, why don't you list off a couple things that are among your top favorites? <laughs> uh, cheeseburger rolls. Yes. Um, so, I also like... Uh, I can't exactly remember what she likes, though. <laughs> Actually, her you kind of like her grilled chicken, right? Her honey mm. chicken. Oh, yeah. Her... Or oh. Uh, honey baked chicken. Mm. Yeah. Uh, sweet and sour chicken. I also love oh, that. Oh, that's sweet really sour good. sour chicken, yeah. Especially when she fries it. Yeah, the honey baked chicken is really popular in our family. And actually, uh, most of the viewers, we get a lot of comments from viewers about the honey baked chicken. Uh, we do do a lot of things where we'll have something like honey baked chicken with some rice and some broccoli, and that'll be dinner. Dad, look at how thick this is. That's about like two inches. Wow, <laughs> nice. All right, let's see. Uh, I guess we're probably getting close mm. to wrapping here, but I'm just going to see. Mm. Yeah, Denise says, honey baked chicken is their best. Mm. Cherry what, uh, Jill is asking Jill what kind of meat is used for Philly cheese. I think it's, I want to say it's roast beef, but I could be wrong. We'll see. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Lynn says, great job, guys. Men can cook. Yay. Actually, we definitely wouldn't starve, <laughs> but... The nice thing is when Tara is here, she ha makes a little bit more variety of certain things that we we only attempt because we're on the show. If we're, we weren't on the show, we tend to stick with the three things that we usually make. We wouldn't start, um, but we're not gourmet chefs either. So who asked? Um, Allison, what did you make? I got here late. So we made our cheeseburger rolls recipe uh, from the Dining on a Dime cookbook, and it... When they're done, well, actually, there's more than one way to prepare them. Uh, but we roll them up like this and has cheese and meat inside of the bread like this. The bottom is weak. Be careful. And they're really, really delicious. We usually put butter on the top Thick. to make them kind of a little shinier and they taste a little more Thick. awesome. But it's the recipe, if you make the recipe out of the book or off the website, it actually talks about, um, where is it? It talks about making them into 12 three inch circles and then folding them over so you'd end up with kind of half moon shaped pocket sandwiches. Oh, and we used to make them that way, but um, we actually have another recipe that's for cheeseburger roll ups, also on our site at livingonadime.com. And Tara sort of adapted it because she liked how easy it was to make that. So she's been wrapping, rolling these jelly roll style, more like oh, cheeseburger right. roll up recipe. By the way, you. if you haven't seen that one, uh, you can go to livingonadime.com and I think if you just type cheeseburger roll in the search term, the rolls and the roll-ups will be there. The roll-ups recipe has, well, you can improvise this one that way, but the roll-ups recipe actually calls for bacon and uh, onions and like other things in addition to what we put in this. So, but it's made this pretty much the same way. So there are two variations of essentially the same recipe. So... Nan says, three cheers for my handsomes for doing such a great job. Yay, looking good, you guys. Eat a piece for me. I think we made a lot, but we I made three pieces think for these you. boys are going to put away a lot of it tonight. Yes, Cherry, it's really easy to make. The main thing is if you make it with our 90-minute rule dough, 
you want to give yourself a little time to let it sit and for the dough to rise. That was the first time we did this. Us guys did it on the show a couple years ago. And Ooh. the mistake we made at the time was did not anticipating the bread would need to rise. So it ended up being like a two and a half I hour think show. One time mom and mom and I put shortening in instead of the, for mm -hmm. the bread we put shortening in instead of, there's another recipe ingredient. And it was, it still came out perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. It was just fluffier and more fragile. Yes. Okay, let me look and see here. Are there any more questions before we go? Um, yay. Thank you, Ditching the Grind. Great show tonight. Elizabeth, looks good, guys. Enjoy. We definitely are. Uh, have a great evening. Yes. All right, well, I don't see any new questions. Oh, uh, so Georgina, so what we made is our, Georgina's asking for a uh, recap. I need to keep the page because I keep losing it. Um, we made our cheeseburger rolls recipe, which is on page 237 in our Dining on a Dime cookbook here. Or if you have the classic edition, it's on page 182. And we also put the recipe on the front page of our site. They're really delicious. Our kids' probably most favorite recipe. And mom's gone, so I asked, what do you want to make today? And they said, cheeseburger rolls. So there you go. But they're really delicious. They're easy to make. They do take a little bit of time because if you make the bread, because the dough has to rise. But other than that, it's super, super easy. So anyway, all right. Well, yes, was easier than grilling a burger. Definitely, that's true. But tastes just as good. How does Tara figure portion size? Um, usually sh they're somewhat small. Um, I'll have to wait till she gets back, to be honest, to have her answer that. Me. But I know she and Jill look at things like how many servings something is supposed to be, because most Americans especially will eat three or four servings of everything and not realize it. So, so she will... I don't know for sure how she determines how much is the portion size, and I will have to have her answer that question. But she will, she will just take. She won't serve the whole thing and let everybody pick at it like I'm doing right now. She'll cut off the amount that's a normal serving size, and she'll put it on the plates, and then take it to the table. And ideally, people don't go back for seconds. Then everybody gets the right portion. So, anyway, okay. Well, I think that's all. Uh, a couple things, well, one other thing I will say, butterfly ring is a jelly roll type recipe, Jill says, and on the butterfly ring, I think the breading is more biscuit-like. Somebody else said uh, typical jelly rolls in a bakery might have cake dough, which I did not know. So, no life, I don't know on the Bible study thing. Uh, Dave and I were talking about going, uh, we were talking about maybe going live on Friday. You were talking. You were talking about it too. No, you were talking about it. Just for a question and answer show, and those often end up going into the Bible study area. So, um, on so if we do, that would be totally awesome. So, uh, it's still online, right? Yes. Oh, as far as I can tell. Okay, Joycaster set off one, so it's like, what? All right. Well, it's been great having you here. We'll see you again definitely Monday. Dave and I might come on uh, just to talk on Friday. So if you have questions, you can come ask. Um, no life. Uh, it's it's likely we would end up answering. I mean, if you have Bible questions, definitely come and ask them. Um, if you have questions about cooking or something about Tara that you wouldn't ask her, but you'd ask me, <laughs> that's cool. And for the most part, we'll probably answer just about everything. So. <laughs> Anyway, have a great night. It's been great seeing you. And don't forget to, if you haven't seen our Dining on a Dime cookbook, go check it out at livingonadime.com. And uh, if you could like, subscribe, and share, that really help us out. And we hope you have an awesome night. And we'll see you later. Oh, morning if you're down under. <laughs> All right, Dave. I'm stalling now. While he cuts the show.